iTunes deal? How did this come about? Did you use an aggregator or? No, I got referred into the company and I can't publicly say yet because they haven't announced the release date. They said once, this company said basically once we give you a release date, you'll be able to do a press release and announce it and say who we are and who we are associated with and stuff. So until then, I'm not allowed to say, but they said spring 2013, the spring it's coming out and then once that is, I'll be able to tell who they are, but I got referred in. Someone else, a filmmaker friend of mine, introduced me through email to the people that run it and said, oh, Sherman Song, um, it, actually I was introduced to them before we even won the Phoenix Film Festival, we, where we world premiered, so they looked at our film before we even hit the film festival circuit, and they wanted to sign me. And so I was very lucky so that by the, by the time we were in Phoenix, I was already signed. And so the whole festival circuit, I wasn't worried about finding a distributor and, you know, digital, digital distributor. And um, it was like a good feeling to be able to like to go around and not be like kind of, you know, that look of desperation, like I need distribution kind of thing, you know. And uh, it's, again, for me, it's the, as I've been learning and as probably everybody knows, it's, it's about who you know and who knows you. And getting those referrals, those little introductions, those chance meetings, or those people that they, they tell you, you should meet this person, or I liked your film, I'm going to introduce you to this person. It's, it is a business about that. Since so much of life is that, you know, that desperation does turn people off, it's like dating or looking for a job, whatever it is, what do you tell people that may be in that situation, but they need to kind of keep their cards to their vest a little bit? Um, How do they present themselves where they're not over eager? Right and maybe turn people off. So I think sometimes that they can have a great product or film, whatever, but sometimes that over eagerness right. can maybe... Right. Maybe I, I guess I've been lucky because I had other people validate my film. So I had a, a, my friend was a sales agent, so he saw the film and then he referred me to the distributor. So it's sometimes it's not always you always doing it. Like if, if you're the one doing it, then you might not be so aggressive about it. Uh, you know, you might point out certain things about like the film has screened here, it's won this award or whatever, or it's just a, a, a quick inquiry type of email or something, but I'm not sure, um, again, if it's such a hard sell because I do get people hitting me up with, you know, scripts, and if it's a hard sell, you know, and if you, if you're, if you believe in it so much, you kind of, if you, you question like why is it taking so long to get it done, then if you, if it's so good, you know, and you don't want to be that kind of person, so it's always good, I, I don't know, like I think some other people to validate it, and um, social proof, possibly. Okay. Like that's what's weird. Like you know, I can hear the flips out already. The people watching me, like, well, I mean, you don't need other people to tell your movie's good. You believe your movie's good. So it's like there's a fine, a fine balance. You obviously, obviously have to believe in it to give it to your friend who likes it. Who like it. <laughs> send it to to whoever, you know. And you have to set out trying to make the best film possible, and and believing in that, and. It is that type of world that there is that type of validation that's needed from some someplace else, whether it is a friend or a festival or a critic or something, because it's an art, and art is subjective, but if you have some type of write-up about it from someplace else, I think that always helps uh, with these kind of power, these, you know, these people that control the gatekeepers kind of thing, you know.